again. Yes, more heavy rain. Not great news for the forecast, I'm afraid. And as we head through the next few days, as this heavy rain drives up from the south, it does bring the risk of localised flooding. But some areas will stay dry, largely, with some decent spells of sunshine. And today, there's a lot of sunshine. The story today is watching out for some heavy, thundery showers. We've had heavy showers this morning across southwest England. The focus, though, for some stormy weather at the moment is across northern England. Carlisle has seen 17.2 millimetres of rain from these storms just in the last hour. Through the rest of the day, the focus for the showers will be across much of Scotland. I think the north hit and miss some decent sunny spells, but for southern Scotland into northern England, watch out for these torrential downpours. They'll come one after the other, but where you've got the sunshine either side, it will be pleasantly warm where the sun comes out. 23, maybe 24 degrees. Still humid in the east. Temperatures in the south with the sunshine, 19, maybe 20 degrees, staying largely dry. So it should be largely dry for Wimbledon. But for southwest England, still the showers feeding in. Probably not as heavy as they were first thing this morning. A lot of sunshine across Wales. Yes, the chance of some showers, fairly well scattered. And for Northern Ireland after that damp start, an improving story through the day with 19 degrees in the sunshine. The heavy showers still there for the evening rush hour. A lot of spray on the roads, but overnight, once the showers fade, it turns humid yet again, misty and murky. Mild in the southeast, 17 degrees, but there's the heavy rain. Now, we have a warning from the Met Office. It's an amber warning, one down from our red warning. Not just because of how heavy the rain's going to be through tomorrow, but just how persistent it will be. It sets in first thing across southeast England, then makes its way through Lincolnshire, the Midlands, and sits across Wales. So through the central slice, that's where we've got the focus for some really heavy rain through tomorrow. You'll notice Northampton on the map. Yes, of course, Silverstone starts tomorrow, looking wet there for their practice session. But the warning really covers 40 to 60 millimetres. We could see up to 80, two, maybe three inches of rain falling through these central areas. That could lead to some local flooding. But south and north of here, it's sunshine and some scattered showers. Now, as we head through the rest of the weekend, that rain band will push northwards, moving into Scotland. Of course, tea in the park there this weekend. Elsewhere, it remains unsettled with sunshine and showers. So, again, fairly hit and miss. But with all the rain and the warnings, it's worth keeping up to date with the forecast. Laura Tavon, thank you very much. At half past one, a reminder of our top story.